homework. Yeah, they get the hormones rushing. They basically have gone to a brain suck and now they need to um, be organized and do too much homework, which is what the schools are giving. Great plan. And that is the game. Um, I think it's important that you take all the gadgets away. When they come in from school, um, they have a basket or something where they put their cell phones and everything. They then are responsible to do their homework. Uh, after they do their homework, they can get the gadgets back until bedtime, and then they go back into the basket. No television, no music with words while they're doing homework. It does not work. For some teenagers, it works to come to the parent and show the parent, this is what I need to do. Um, and at the end of the homework time, let's say two hours, they come and they say, this is what I did. It keeps them accountable. Tell me what you're going to do. Gets the child's brain organized. Show me what you did. Makes the child accountable to the parent for having done homework. Um, for some children, it really works to inspire them to get going, to take things in chunks or blocks. What you say to the child is, wow, you have uh, a math paper. Looks like you could do that in 20 minutes. I'll put 30 minutes on the clock. I'll come back in 30 minutes. If the work is done and your work is legible, then you can have a 10-minute break, okay? So we found that just something really little, like a 5- or 10-minute break, will get a child to get going on something that they otherwise will put off because who wants to do homework? And it's their job. Um, if they go on a break, the way to get them back is the minute drill. You're on the minute drill. Uh, you have one minute to get back and start the second section. Um, for each minute you choose not to go back, we'll take it off your next break. So by putting things in blocks, sometimes it motivates a child um, to do a job that they otherwise would put off forever. Sometimes um, during this age zone, they just don't do homework. You have the technology to keep in touch with the school, and I really want their teenagers I would pay attention, I would send notes to the school, I would find out what your child is doing in school before the report cards come out, because usually by the time the report cards come out, the water's already right here, and then they feel hopeless and catching up or making up work or whatever. Um, it's just too much work, and they, they don't want to do it. So I would, uh, I would dog the school on letting you know how your child is doing. But let's say your child doesn't do homework. You collect all the homework for the week um, from the teachers. You get your teenager up in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, and you say, you will be doing this until it is done, all your homework for the week. And if you choose not to do your homework during the week, then every weekend this is, will be the drill because it's your job to do your best in school and it's your job to do your homework. It's not acceptable to just not do it because I don't want to do it because I hate it or to forget to turn it in. This will motivate a child to change that behavior. Homework is the responsibility of, their chi uh, of the child because it is their job to do their best in school.